broom. We need that. Ooh, a broom. Got a broom. Broom, broom, broom. <gasps> Look, it's an insect. It's so cute. Okay, let's go get the wool. Got that broom ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. We got wool. Okay, so we have some of the things we need. There's a crab over here. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting distracted. This. this might come in handy. We got a magnet. Some hole noises? Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. Oh man, no one here is qualified. Oh, let's talk to the koala before talking to Mystery Monkey. Hi! Howdy! What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks? Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? You have a magnet? I brought you a magnet. What? Like a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true, thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Out. Real magnet. We got a shell. All right, we know what to do with this. First, let's find out what Mystery Monkey likes in dancing. Questions. Dance styles. Hey, so uh, you uh, you like dancing and um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically have only one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great! Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay, I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Monkey fact. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's bring the shell and then let's tell Mo that Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing. Always asking questions. 
big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Alright. We can bring this to Bernie. Yeah, this is working out pretty well. Questions, questions. What else do you want to know? Magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All of my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Yes. We got pasta. Okay, we have a lot of things we need. Let's talk to this dude. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> I love the poses. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. Your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away. You smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening, Cool paste for the teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for the Teeth? I get a shipment here every three days. I go through this stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tooth. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tooth. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Alright, we know where to get that. Let's look at this bug. I like the bugs. Okay, so... Now we go to Mo. We have a fact for them. And we can grab their mouthwash. Have some questions. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. Got toothpaste. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. We need that for the explosives. Um, 
think we have everything we need for the explosives. Explosion! Let's make some dynamite! Let's see... Wow! You got everything? Yup! Amazing! Shall we make some dynamite? Yeah! Let's do it! Nice, I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby! Heck yeah! Well, this is it! Yup! Time to blow this cave up! Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Yes, carefully blow that game up by just hurling the explosives. Time to go inside the dark cave. Which is indeed pretty dark. <laughs> oh, hi! Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Mm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley! Who are you? The detective! Howdy! Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. Pretty well known along around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh! You're Martin's friend! Yeah! What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Huh? <laughs> Huh? Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've... Been dancing for two weeks straight? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it'd sound super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yup! Hmm? Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi! What are you doing here? I was in the cave! You what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks! Two weeks to be exact. 
Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... Hey, ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. Just goes to show, you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yup. Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. Well, I agree with the detective on most issues. There are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the vid validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrants. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today! Yeah! 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go! And so they danced. I told you, very cute game. Pretty ridiculous. Look at them go. practiced enough. Wait a minute, who's judging? I'll do it. Finley was pretty good.
A little bit later. Oh boy, we got another case. Look, it's everyone at the dance competition. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking, how may I help you? Detective, Supervisor, great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel. In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. Detective will return in... Case of the Invisible Wizard. Yes, there is a second game called The Case of the Invisible Wizard. And that will be part of the streamer's choice, uh, the viewer's choice stream that I do in a few weeks or so. Frogdetective.net is a real website. And that's it for the Frog Detective Case of the Haunted Island. Yep, thanks for joining me.